It's 7.40 in the morning on Friday morning. Radio 1 Breakfast Show Takeover, all part of the Specialist Special Us Takeover. And we welcome him in live into the studio. He's only number one on the BBC side of 2012, Mr. Michael Kiwanuka. Hello. How are you, man? I'm, I'm very good. Feeling very happy and excited. Right on, dude. That's exciting news for you and then for fans of your music that it's been recognised and registered as something that other people should certainly be listening out for this year. Yeah. Um, but it's nothing new to you, you know. You've been doing this for a while, making music for a while. So like that's I right. said before we went to air, you're in good shape. There's no hype that could possibly knock you off your position. You know? Yeah, oh, that's very nice to hear, especially, especially for you. But no, I'm feeling great and very happy just the fact that maybe that so many more people will be able to hear it yeah um, and that's the, any musician's dream you know? it is and it's you know even though there's more opportunities for people to hear music in this day and age with the internet obviously being an incredibly useful tool, mm. tool for getting music out from a grassroots level yeah. it's actually more difficult for people who don't have the time yeah. to filter music down isn't it I yeah. mean in a way is, is that something that even though you're only focused on writing songs really yeah. I'd imagine yeah. is it something you think about okay how do I actually get my music out there to be heard I mean yeah it's like when you uh, at first, not really, but when you when you make a record, make an album, it's like, well, how are people going to hear the full? Mm. It's, it's interesting. It's the full album because you kind of recently we've been putting out EPs, but you really want to make sure people get the full picture of hearing the full record, you know. So yeah. that's uh, something that's in my mind, and this is really going to help that. So yeah, I guess it's it's there. You just want I love it, man. There's <laughs> a lot of people going albums, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm still. Uh, I still love albums. Yeah, I me too. I mean, I think that that's really music should be listened to, like you know, like anything artistic, where you know the full picture should be appreciated. Yeah. I don't think you go to an art gallery, look at a corner of a painting. Yeah. You know, yeah. you want to soak up the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So, what's your story? People will want to know what your story is. I mean, to yeah. a lot of people who who are, who are asking that question, okay, that's great that you've been recommended, but who are you? Yeah, I'm well. Michael Kuanuka, just uh, <laughs> that, that was awful. I mean, <laughs> when you go after a question like that, obviously, well, my name is Michael Kuanuka. <laughs> Twenty-four, my no, dad. <laughs> no, it's all right. I'm, I'm basically, yeah, I'm like a musician, you know, sing, singer, songwriter, and a music lover as well. And I just lo- love music and playing and singing. And why? What? Really what was? What was the turning point for you as a child when you realised that music? I mean, for me, I remember. Yeah. You know, the, I remember list, the first time I ever got exposed to music properly was when I was listening to Deep Purple with my cousin. That's oh, a true story. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. about nineteen. No, I was. <laughs> I was well young. You know. What about yeah. for you? What was? Yeah, your no, first it's thing? kind of similar. It's just the way if music feels. It's just like it puts you in a place where no, nothing else seems to do it. It's like it's like kind of otherworldly when you when you when you get it right or when you hear something that, that gets you. And uh, yeah, it's like, I used to sit in the mornings before school. I used to even wake up earlier, not to get to school, but so I could listen to music before I had to go to school for longer. You know, I just loved it mm-hmm. around like 13, 14. So I'm just a music like freak. And uh, and writing your own music helps you just be inside that feeling that you get from listening to it. So Express just, yourself uh, as well, a chance to express yeah. yourself and emotions that perhaps, you know, exactly. words can't find. Yeah, and it's like, and you can connect with people, gigs. I mean, it's just the greatest one of the greatest things in the world. We're going to find out more about Michael Kiwanuka, number one on the BBC Sound of 2012, but put the list to one side now because that was just there as a reason to get him in the studio and tell people yeah. about his music. Now you know, now you should listen, and when we come off the back of this, more chat. Oh, we're we just going to go straight to the acoustic? Oh, great. Well, we'll do that soon, and we'll keep talking now. Um, so broad tastes, then, in terms of listening to music, are you interested in all sorts of things outside of... I mean, people would listen to what you do as a mm. songwriter and go, okay, mm. he likes folks as singer-songwriters yeah, of that nature, right. but do you yeah. go beyond that? Yeah, I do, yeah. I mean, there's the folk and singer-songwriters massive influence on me but soul music's a big influence on me um like groove music jazz music yeah uh, everything like new and old um and again like the whole record people get to hear the whole scope that's the whole thing you get yeah. to hear and um, so like i'm a, I'm a big eclectic fan like on on the list there's people like frank ocean i like i like singers mm-hmm. so um and he's a great he's brilliant he's though. a great singer and like leanne and the Harvest, yeah. but yeah i'm i'm pretty eclectic but it kind of but then I, I just like the organic sound of, of it. So soul music's organic, you know, if you, um, and even like from hip hop, things like Dill is very organic. It's just, but it's a different, it's, I mean, I might play acoustic guitar, but it seems like it's, it's to me, it's just from the same thing. So Remix record? You're going to put it out there at some point? You're well, yeah, I'd love to. There's, yeah, there's some tunes on there, like when we were making the record, which are pretty like, uh, oh, like, uh, Aching to that. I mean, you can you mm. can do that, and the way we'll make it, the way we'll, it's like you could almost sample those things. So, I mean, if anyone's up for it, you, you do it, man. Sam, I'd, I'd love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do yeah. one. <laughs> we'll send the, send the files. They're good. It's, it's good, man. It's kind of I love that. I mean, so much like of older song music I discovered was from stuff like Dilla. You know, like yeah. the old Ivy Brothers tunes. I would have played. Like, oh, that reminds me of the tune that my friend played me in in his house, and that's how I discovered that kind of stuff. So if so, people do that, you can't bring Dilla up at quarter to eight on a Friday sorry, morning because otherwise sorry, we're going to be exposing sorry. the people who listen. And a Radio sorry, One Breakfast sorry. Tour hanging on by the by the skin of their teeth right now. You and I are going to spend sorry. forty minutes talking about. You're normally at seven because you're normally at seven. It's my, my fault. Yeah. 
family tree. <laughs> Don't get me started on Dilla. Donuts. Go get donuts. Dilla, one of the great beat makers of all time. Soulful music made yeah. by, by computers and beat machines. All right, Michael. So you're number one in the BBC yes. Sound of 2012. And before you play a song for us, just a couple of words about what we can expect from you this year. Just yes. facts. This year, loads of gigs. Um, obviously, the record's coming out in March 26. Mm -hmm. A few more singles. Hopefully more songs, like new stuff. Hopefully like collaborations, you never know what can come. And We heard a great rumour about a collaboration. Are we, are we allowed to mention it? <laughs> go, we, go. Should we mention yeah. it? I heard I heard that Jay Z is interested oh, in working with you. Is that possible? That, well, that, yeah, I mean, that was, um, I kept that quiet. That was that was really interesting because, but yeah, there's a few emails. Um, <laughs> but but then it's a few emails and I haven't, they've never materialised. But we were in New York and uh, there was an email, but only like a few hours before we had to leave New York. So we couldn't. <laughs> Getting together, so yeah, but I don't know what will happen with that. You know? Wild. So I kept it quiet. Maybe I mean it's Jay Z, so you know. Uh, <laughs> it's if good, that comes, I'll, good you know, to get an email from Jay Z oh, though. Yeah. Well, he's from his manager, but still, that's still pretty. I've do. saved. I've saved that. It's like on a separate thing to the inbox. It's, it's in a frame on a wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, right, listen, funny. ladies and gentlemen, listening all around the world right now, we have a number one who joins the likes of Nikki and the Dove and Skrillex, Azili Banks, Frank Ocean, not forgetting Dot Rotten, ASAP Rocky, Flux Pavilion, Dry the River, Friends, Spectre, Renhav. You, we've got Leanne Lahav. Harvest, Jamie and Comestution, just many, many other wonderful musicians who are making music out there for this year to enjoy. It's all out there for you. Don't be afraid to go and find it. And right now, we'd like to let Michael do what he does brilliantly. What are you going to sing for us, man? We're going to sing Single Home Again. Nice one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Kawanuka. Home again, home again. One day I know I feel home again Wrong again, wrong again One day I know I feel strong again And I lift my head Many times I've been told all oh, this talk will make you old So I'll close my eyes Or look behind the moving on Moving on So I'll close my eyes Or look behind the moving on Lost again Lost again One day I know Our paths will cross again Smile again Smile again One day I hope To make you smile again And I won't hide Many times I've been told Speaking mind, just people. So I'll close my eyes, won't look behind, moving on, moving on. So I'll close my eyes, and the tears will clear. And then I'd feel no fear. Then I'd feel no way my paths will be made straight. Home again, home again. One day I know I feel home again. Wrong again, wrong again. One day I know I feel strong again And I lift my head and Many times I've been told All this talk will make you old So I'll close my eyes Won't look behind and moving on Moving on, so I'll close my eyes, won't look behind, moving on.
Brilliant. Thank you, Michael. Fantastic. Thank you, A, for playing, and you know, B, obviously, for coming in and joining us live, you know, and, and helping us explain, you know, who you are and what you've got planned for the year. Because to have you back on, you know, Radio One as the number one artist in the BBC Sound of 2012, and you have a busy day ahead of you, mm. you know, a special. So thanks for coming That's in. A pleasure. Man. Thanks so much for having me. And we can't wait to see how it unfolds over the coming years, you know, and decades yeah. and so forth. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm absolutely certain that you're an artist who, you know, will continue to make music as and how you want to for many, many years to That's come. That's the plan. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks very much, Dane. Nice Excuse one, me. dude. Michael Kiwanuka, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thanks, man. Have a great day. Enjoy the ride. It's going to be a big one today. Really? Yeah. Busy. Where are you going now? I'm going to BBC Television. All right. Uh, Say I'm what's the... up to them for us. They're I G's. <laughs> See you, man. Bye. Bye. Bye.